welcome back to the show. I finally finished the Lego cargo boat. It's had a couple setbacks on the way, but more on that later. For now, let's take a closer look. Finding the right balance with this took a lot of trial and error in the bathtub because it's really top heavy, as you can see. So I tried putting nails in the bottom, uh, and that helped a little bit, but I actually found the original motor that came with the original fireboat kit. So I used that to lower the center of gravity, but I ultimately had to put on these uh, these life rafts on the side to just to give it a little extra buoyancy on the sides, some more stability. A new feature that I've been experimenting with is hooking up a gamepad to my phone so I can use that as uh, the controlling device for the Esper. And this is really handy, especially when I need to control the bow with one hand and hold the camera with the other hand. I also added a detailed interior and lights. Early designs used differential joints, but I found gears to be more effective for the rudder to be behind the repeller. So, about those setbacks. Well, how about you just see for yourself? Yeah, it's actually the third time it's been submerged in water like that. But I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how durable these components are. Esbrick was damaged at first, as you can see, but after filling it with a bowl with rice for a while, it came back and it's working fine now. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.